Hi, this is Dr. Judith Bryles, and we're talking about um, creating book descriptions with headlines and grabbers that will get the attention of your targeted reader, the buyer. So here's a couple of things you really, you always want to make sure that whatever your descriptions you're putting up on these retail, online, or brick and mortar, make sure that you have zero typos. And if they're there, get them out because immediately it says amateur. How about if you've used all kinds of amazing punctuation, like you love, love explanation points. Don't, you know, maybe one that will really bring in and affirm it's authentic, um, whatever you're revealing or sharing, but explanation point, explanation point, explanation point. No, it says you're an amateur. If you have a book that's part of a series, you want to absolutely make sure you include that, um, that I would go on the title of it. You know, The Secret Cave, book three of seven, something like that. What it seeds the, the buyer saying, ooh, there's more. If, if I like this book, you know, I'm going to get the others. And I promise you, that is what happens. Um, in the area. So make you sure you do that. And also, it's essential to include your key word phrases, not just top keywords. Your, your keyword could be mystery, but mystery what? Or thriller? Or cozy? But what else goes in there? We could throw in locations. You could have, um, you know, a generation or an era um, tagged into it that keeps modifying it. Because when people are searching, think about how you search. You don't search with one word. You have several words hooked together, which they call long tail. You have several words hooked together that will keep narrowing it to bring up what you need. Those are so important to understand in this problem. And the other thing is that a lot of people get stuck with um, them. <laughs> they want, they want to write for them. Their descriptions are for them. No, 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 no. It's for your potential reader, your bio. So a few tips. We'll have lots more on this because this is all about marketing, the thing that will sell your books. This is Judith Bryles. Do follow me on my Twitter at mybookshepherd as well as my other social media contacts.